Hello my dear friends and welcome again to Adventure Story Channel video. Today my dear friends will talk about uh, the parameters that your boiler have. So if you get a message on the top of the boiler uh, panel, local panel of the boiler to copy EEPROM you must press yes. So by pressing this key here which is shown and must be uh, must be done with qualified person so when you're pressing that key and you select yes and uh, confirm that everything the the contents uh, which is inside of the improm will be copied uh, and ram will be stored in other case uh, the answer if will be no all the contents uh, from improm and from the ram uh, will be deleted and that's we do not like to uh, happen uh, for sure some of uh, the time that you are on board the vessel this thing will happen and for that one we have all the parameters uh, from the boiler so this is the page which explained exactly uh, the unisub and this is more common uh, problem when you have a problem with unisub you connect the cables you disconnect and sometimes this message will be appear so the unisub also they have a light time uh, and there is also a way to check the uh, the life remain to this uh, unisub which have all the parameters all uh, the electronic parts to control the boiler uh, the other thing that i like to tell about uh, unisub and we will see also in other video how to check uh, the communication and uh, how to check the life of UNISAP uh, but today our video is about uh, the contents and the parameters in case you delete everything first of all somewhere in the folders of the boiler or, or, the, or inside the disk uh, of the boiler you will have some kind of Excel so this Excel will show you all the panel and all the tree uh, menu like it is on uh, the boiler local panel so you will have this selection on the top like this one I will take my pen key request state when you will enter the boiler you will see the boiler pressure so what we see there in that and you can see also that we have some description of sub menus there is a front menu with the lock menu the main menu and the sub menus uh, later so the boiler pressure and we have our sub menu high shutdown high warning low warning remote control uh, let's move on here you will have also the value which is uh, bars and here you will see which password you will need it to have access with common user you will have access for such parameters so the highest the lowest is zero the highest 27 uh, default 8.5 common setting uh, for number one boiler and number two is this one which you see 17.6 and uh, 16.3 initial for number one and, and two it's 17.6 but this one I believe uh, what we have found if I remember properly also some additional we can uh, set some additional for our reference uh, some settings which is not described here and that's why I like uh, all these parameters to share with you also 
this is the type of burner 2 KBSD burner type maybe it will help uh, in your uh, situation these parameters so you will have them also uh, there is all the parameters of the boiler as you can see and always everywhere is described uh, which line number uh, the sub menu the main menu and everything and all the values and the password and the parameters high and low and uh, default or uh, differential this can means uh, there is all the parameters so what I will do here because you cannot uh, check it one by one all the things but you must know that you have such a thing on board I will make it uh, slowly moving down like this from the beginning until uh, the bottom so we have the adjustments of boiler pressure the water levels must be controlled also uh, for water flow there is some settings also here which is in seconds common pressure uh, high shutdown low alarm actual set point set point set point high uh, sample the time of sample there is a lot of parameters after we're going to fuel oil fuel oil temperatures as you can see there is also a lot of parameters here and I will stay here so you can check them but if you uh, download the video and you keep it uh, you will have also these parameters in case you are interested and here uh, we have fuel oil and sub menus in the fuel oil, fuel oil temperature, fuel oil pressure uh, gas oil temperature, gas oil pressure sometimes if you have the problem with Unisub it start uh, your auxiliary boiler uh, start to have different values uh, different coloring and the uh, all the machinery start to play you'll have different values maybe you will see something uh, on the gasoil pumps and uh, temperatures will be uh, equals the fuel temperatures and that is not normal that is show that there is some problem but uh, as we have seen the cables was not a such problem because there is a lot of electronics uh, there and also by heat this kind of uh, system is affected that's why uh, the lifetime it varies about from four to five years on such uh, cards so we can see also here air combustion parameters uh, control pump control steam dump as you can see we have right also here the actual set point uh, some parameters which uh, was missing and we did it uh, together with chief engineer we see uh, most of the parameters and all these additional parameters here uh, we write them together which was not referenced here in this list so we try as much as possible to be covered from all the sides feed water also here inner gas salinity setup timers timers and sequences here also very very important
surveillance as you can see uh, here we have time MGO parts was 30 initial and we found it uh, or we, we added additional safety bridge which was not uh, references here some seconds here power panel number one power power number two date okay date oil sump loads as you can see uh, still we are going down and this is all these parameters start stop limits minimum firing position 15 percentage bridge position 70 oil position all the settings from here you can see uh, all the operation of the boiler and how it works all the parameters oil ratios atomizing pressures this is the same thing if you had your uh, computer and you have opened all the pages and you check one by one all the parameters and all the pages flash settings oil out correction air out correction minimum firing position uh, and here we have if I remember correct this is the version uh, that we had okay also the version of the software everything uh, all the details it's really really important loggings calibrate water level airflow uh, oil flow boiler pressure atomizing steam pressure all the ranges uh, high and low and the type of burner fuel oil system burner family multi burner system burner options as you can see uh, there is quite quite a lot and mostly we have this uh, copy eprom message we have posted also in the front of the boilers so everybody uh, notice this and do not go direct and press uh, whatever button uh, they found so another important thing is that uh, you need to be familiar also with the local panel because maybe it will be important to make operation from the local and to have also some adjustments uh, on the top of the boiler this is it all the parameters of the boiler it's a, a lot of data I believe that this video will help uh, the most of the people who are looking at uh, the same version of the same type of the burners the settings so I will wait you in the next video my dear friends uh, bye bye